Beyond the reaches of man and the land that time forgot, deep within the last temple of the legendary Tahani, Jay Harper has found his prize. To retrieve it, he must fly across the infinite void and snatch it from its precarious perch before it falls into the abyss and never to be seen again. And he just misses it. Come on, Harry. It's not fun if it's easy. Try again, I won't pull it away this time. Having inexplicably survived impossible odds, Harper goes in for a second pass. Will he make it this time? The fate of the universe hangs in the balance. Uh-oh, he's... <gasps> all right, all right, fine. Just keep that then. What, I don't get an ending? Find the treasure, escape, etc., and so forth. Endings are boring. Don't stop until you die, that's what I say. Sounds good to me. What do you want to see most? Literally anything but another desolate rock like this one. I tell you, I got a job. I'm gonna save half of everything I make. I'll be on Austin in no time. I'm not sure that'll be enough. Of course it will. It's easy for you to say. Everything eventually works out for you. I'll save enough for the both of us. Just trust me. It's gonna be a little bit longer. Yeah. The day I have it, we'll be on one of those shuttles. Hey, I'll quit my job. We'll get I'm gear. joining Goliath. What? I ship out pretty soon. In a couple days, so soon. But wait, what are you talking about? I can't stay here anymore, Jay. This is my best option. They only have me for three years, and by then you're gonna have enough money, and I'll be there to meet you in Austin. Uh, no, you don't have to join Goliath to get to Austin, okay? That's ridiculous. Me and you. We could step foot on another planet together for the first time. Just like we planned. Just like real treasure hunters, okay? We'll step on a new world, we'll find an, an old map, we'll fight pirates, we'll solve a murder mystery, we'll jump off of really tall things, maybe even do a heist. That last one's not necessary, but I want to do it. This still works, Jay. It works faster. You and I, we can still do all of it together. Everything you said, heist included. Okay, but I can get us off Round Rock at the same time. We don't have to do it this way. You don't know that. And I can't just stay here and be optimistic while you figure it out. I'll just get trapped in a dead-end job or jail. It's a coin flip. Either way, I'm gonna grow old and I'm gonna die without ever seeing another planet. Just like everyone else in my family. I can't be that. You won't be trapped. You just have to wait a little longer. I can't wait anymore, Jay. But you can. Because you're stronger than me. I'm gonna be there when you get off that shuttle. I promise.
Hi, um, I'm looking for someone, and I was wondering if you guys keep a record of people that come through here. What's the name? Harrison Valerio. Uh, looks like he came through here once about three years ago, then again a few months after that, but nothing since. Oh. Okay. Thanks. Hi. Do you know where I could find maps? We have some right here. Right. But do you know a store somewhere that sells maps? Like where you go inside and it's dark and dusty and there's like a crazy old man there and all these artifacts. But in the very back on this stack of scrolls, there's this one forgotten old map that leads to like a temple or something? Something like that. Are you asking me if I know where to find a treasure map? Yes. When's the next train for the Wallet Basin? Uh, another hour, platform 746. You want something? If I knew where to find a treasure map, I would not be working here. Huh? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Thank you. You got the map? Yeah, I got the map. Seems like a lot of work for a rock. It's not a rock, it's an artifact. An artifact is a rock. No, it's not. An artifact's any object you happen to find from an extinct civilization. Well, the Tahani used to make stuff out of rocks. Therefore, it's a rock, right? No, they didn't. Why would Vera want a rock? Well, that's what I'm saying. It seems like a lot of trouble. Oh, oh, hey, oh sorry, this guy pushed me. What the hell? Was on my hey, you think you just push people around like that? No one's gonna say anything? Y'all got a problem, Green? Yeah. Tough guy, huh? What, yeah. tough guy? What, tough guy? Why don't you mind your own business before I'm off the floor with both of you? Go about your day. You understand to get out of here. What's your step, huh? Don't be here, Turn around. Get lost. Jay Harper, thanks for coming. Cat Bryson. Jay Harper, thanks for coming. Truman Perry. So the job is to find buried treasure at these coordinates. What can you bring to the expedition? I'm a professional bodyguard. I hit everything I shoot at, and I won't complain as long as there's no lying and lots of food. Now, this might involve some physical challenges, like cutting through vines, outrunning traps, fighting a rival treasure hunting gang as ancient ruins crumble all around us, and we barely escape with our prize. How do you feel about something like that? Ah, uh, well, uh, you, you let me answer that with another question. How much do you know about the Tahani? Because if, if you're looking for an artifact, you'll want an expert. I spent the last six years studying their culture, so I'm, uh, I'm ready for this. Do you have any questions or concerns? Yeah, does this glass look dirty to you? Because I'm not comfortable drinking out of it. How much does it pay? A third of whatever we sell it for. How much is that? I don't know exactly, but I have it on good authority that this is a highly sought after item. Well, nobody gets into academics for the money, I guess. Fine, but I want half. Deal, one last thing. A test of strength, arm wrestling to be exact. If you can't win, you wouldn't make a good bodyguard, would you? Uh, is that really necessary? If you can win, you wouldn't make a good nerd, would you? Are you ready? Ready. Uh, maybe there's a certain shoulder position that's that's supposed to- Begin! <laughs> You're both hired. to make your acquaintance. What was your name? Yvonne. Yvonne. I was told you wanted to speak with me. That's interesting, because I don't. I'm actually here to see someone else, which I made clear to your secretary, so I don't understand why I'm speaking to you instead. Well, I do apologize for any confusion. Who was it you wanted to speak with? Louis Rose. That must be why I'm here. What exactly is the nature of your relationship with Mr. Rose, if you don't mind my asking? Professional and private. I'm not interested in whatever internal conflict you're clearly having. So if you can pull off what your phone monkey couldn't and point me in Lewis's direction. I'm afraid that's not an option. You see, Mr. Rose no longer works here. What happened? 
We're still in the process of figuring that out ourselves. Do you happen to know of any disparaging remarks that Mr. Rose made against this company? I'm sure he did, but no, nothing particular comes to mind. So if he's not here, I have no business here either. It's my job to pay attention to what people think of us. Blue Bonnet has enemies. It's not a reality they like to acknowledge. But when you deal with basic human necessity, any decision made for the good of the many is bound to leave some individuals less than satisfied. The way you're forcing people to live these days, I don't blame them. Mr. Rose had a similar opinion. Sometimes individuals can't see the bigger picture. And they blame this company for their misfortunes. I believe their feelings are justified. But sometimes folks can let their feelings get the best of them. And they take actions unbecoming of today's society. My department exists to handle such individuals. And that's what we did. I'm sorry you weren't able to meet with him. But if you ever find yourself with any more feedback, I'm all ears. Where is he now? Can't say. Where Mr. Rose goes next is up to him. Because I don't remember you saying jungle. Hold on. You know, I expected field work to be challenging, but I did not factor in the mud or the bugs or the aggressive plant life. It's the city. Add a nice cabin and this is basically paradise. Well, you know, my paradise isn't quite so sticky. It also helps if you walk around the trees instead of through them. Well, you clearly came much more prepared than I did. Just part of the job. This little guy has helped me out ah. of some tight spots. Does that mean you've used it, like, on the streets? What? You know, in a, a confrontation, some illicit deal gone sideways. What is it you think I do? Well, it's your job to shoot people. Don't worry. I'm not judging you. Oh, thanks. Ah! I'm a bodyguard. It's my job to make sure you don't get shot. I thought you were basically a mercenary. Very different. I don't have metal limbs or assassinate people for money. I provide protection and peace of mind with a gun. Wait, do you know people with metal limbs? stuff? I've seen them around. That would be amazing. We could have things like this just built right in. Sir, if you don't mind removing your arm first. I saw a guy with a metal eye before. Super scary. It was beautiful. I mean, he had to have been a mercenary, you know, with the eye and the backpack and this tracker thing. Wait, what? Cat, stop! <gasps> awesome! <laughs> The axe thing, not the situation. Don't move forward. You haven't completely triggered it yet, but it, it, it is close. So, backwards. No, no, no. Don't move at all. If, if you give it any slack, it, it might just drop. What am I supposed to do then? Just stand here? That's not a good idea either. This thing is incredibly old. I mean, it could fall apart at any second. You know, it actually, it looks to honey. It matches ceremonial blades found at the temples, but that would make it five to nine hundred years old at least. <laughs> exactly are we here to get? It's a honey thing, uh, an artifact. So like a rock? Well, not, no, not exactly. No. I mean, it could be from now, that any is a extinct common civilization. It might be a rock, though. Well, it could be a rock. Great. How did you find it? What do you mean? How did you know where to look? Where'd you get that tracker? I stole it. You stole it? Uh-huh. Is that bad? It depends on who you stole it from. Okay, I'm at the shuttle station, right? And I see the guy with the eye. 
and he has this perfect treasure map right there. And he's talking about it with his partner, you know, because they have to get it for their boss. And they're just saying things like, why would Vicky want a rock? So wait, wait, I wait, provided wait. a strike. Vicky? Yeah, I think so. I don't remember. Are you sure it wasn't Vera? Yeah, that was it. So you didn't know there is a famous mercenary crime lord in Austin with a metal arm named Vera when you stole this thing from her henchman? No. No, I did not know that. Oh, well, there is. Maybe it's a different Vera. With mercenary henchmen. Okay, okay. It'll be fine, we'll be fine. We'll find whatever it is, we'll bring it right back to her. She'll be so happy to have it back, she'll probably buy it off of us. <laughs> have you ever done anything like this before? No. Not exactly. Oh I just landed God, on I Austin. Sometimes just... I forget to double check and then I get to situations like this, so yeah. I'm gonna go before I'm indebted to a mercenary crime lord. Thank you for the deceitful and foodless day trip. Yeah, come on, don't go. You don't know what you're doing. Get rid of that thing and go home where you're safe, both of you. You're going too, huh? No. No. I'm done being safe. And this could really be something, and the only way to find out is to take some risks. Okay. Um, you know what? Can you? Oh no, I'll, I'll navigate, but you should go on front. Thanks. You sure you know how to use this? Well, we're actually getting closer, so I'd say I'm doing better than you were. This is it. We're here. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. These are the coordinates. All right, well, what do we do? Dig? You know, there, there might not be anything here. Just keep looking. I will, but who's to say if these coordinates are even correct? I mean, the original owners could have been completely incompetent for all we know. Why did you steal this anyway? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't have. Just wanted to go on a real adventure like we had planned. Just did what he would have done. And there's a hand up there. Maybe a whole person. A, a further investigation is required. What? Up there. There's, there's a hand up there. He wasn't there. It's only been a few days since he checked in. That's well within reason if he had to go deeper undercover. Uh, he's not undercover. They found him. He's compromised. Rose is our most experienced field agent. He wouldn't be sloppy enough to get caught doing something too incriminating. Whatever happened, we will find him again. What's this? There was an energy spike on Austin. A big one. Not on our network. Are you serious? What are we still doing here? We're waiting to see what they do next. If they found something, we do not want to approach them the wrong way. There's only one way to do it. Take them out immediately. Are you kidding me? This could be catastrophic. Get us moving, damn it! Get out of the van. What? This is important, and I will not have you behaving this way in the van. Get out. We don't know who these people are. They could turn out to be valuable additions to our team and I am not going to risk losing that. These are not like our normal witnesses. They didn't just see us jump somewhere. They have something and they're using it. If we shoot first and ask questions later, they won't be able to tell us apart from the people we're fighting and then none of this will work. I am going to talk to them and you are going to wait in the van. Shay, you there? Uh, I assume you saw that. I'm really close. Do you want me to check it out? No, Yvonne and I will go in first. We're on Dallas, but we have a clear shot. Get everybody ready. This could be big. Get in. Is 
This is the way we came from. Yeah, man, I know. But it's kind of hard to look for an artifact in the middle of the jungle using a paper map. Well, maybe if you didn't lose our tracker. Whatever, man, I told you the kid took it. I don't care what happened, you're supposed to hold on to it. You good? Oh. There! We found it. What is it? It's the honey, but its condition is incredible, even with everything we have at the university. I've never seen anything so complete. Well, I'll be damned. You're right about the kid. Hey, step back. I have an additional hand. I'm not afraid to use it. They practically did our job for us. We could take it and call it even. That's true. But too bad for them. Vera doesn't want anybody else to see it, so. They'll have to stay right here. This is why I told you to get moving. We can still follow them, and we're still talking first. Who the hell are you? Don't worry about what you saw, it's not your concern. Hey, it's my concern till we get what we came for. They're ours. Watch your step. Seriously, where was that? I don't know. Where are we? Is anybody hurt? I don't know. Lockhart. Is that a town? No, it's the planet. Lockhart. That's the sign for Clyde's Market right there. My parents took me on vacation there once. It was a three-day trip. So... Vera wanted a magic hand that teleports you to barbecue. That's not so bad. <laughs> Truman, do your thing. What? What, what thing? Uh, do a smart thing. Read the symbols and find out what it is. I don't know what this is. It's the honey. That's your thing. No, this, this is not my thing. My thing is soup. Soup? Yes. Soup. Modern recipes from the heritage system that match descriptions from old texts. Connections between ancient and modern society that prove we still have new things to learn from the past. That's what my dissertation is on, not whatever this is. We'll call it Magic Hand. That's what Kate Do We just broke every law in the universe there was to break! Conservation of energy, gravity, highway speed limit, I mean physics is out the window here, which, you know, I guess I never really knew that much about them in the first place, but I mean, I do know culture, okay? And when you change travel, you change society, tourism, shipping, the whole passenger line economy. I mean, if anyone can get anything from anywhere at any time, who even needs Blue Bonnet anymore? We're talking about a revolution. And it's from the Tahani. I was right. Vera know where to find this thing? Afternoon. I couldn't help but notice your disembodied hand. 
Do you know what that is? Do you know what it is? Yes, I do. My name is Elizabeth Shea. I have dedicated my life to finding artifacts such as these. I imagine you had a rather exciting experience earlier today. I'm referring to that giant beam of light shooting you through space. That did happen, yeah. That's what they're supposed to do. It can be harrowing if you don't know what to expect. It's a miracle you ended up here safely. What do you want? You're in danger, having that in your possession. If you let me take it, I can protect it, and I can protect you. It will be as if you never even found it. Otherwise, the people who come looking for it next will make you wish you hadn't. Who would that be? Blue Bonnet. They're not happy that things like this exist. Wait, so they've known about this, and they kept it from everyone? Yes, they did. If it weren't for Blue Bonnet, traveling between worlds might be as easy as crossing the street. The five systems would be connected in a way we have never seen before. But they are not giving up control easily. I know a group of people who are fighting to give this technology to everyone, no matter where they're from or how much money they have. If I take this to them, it would change a lot of things. You know what? You're the third person to try to take this thing from us in the past half hour. You might be telling the truth, but how would I know that? None of this makes any sense, so I think we'll take it back to Truman School. Since we can get there in, what, like five seconds? And then maybe we'll talk. That would be my partner. She's a little anxious about the situation. I apologize in advance if she comes across ill-mannered. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you're done talking first. Let's clean this up. <laughs> ah, well, your head is hard. <laughs> is why I told you to wait in the van. Someone shoot, take them out! Shay? Obviously, do not take them out. So by change things, you just mean change all the Blue Bonnet logos to whatever it is you're called. I apologize. This is not how I wanted this to go. Apology accepted. Tell you what, we'll, we'll, we'll give you a do-over. You fly away, give us ten minutes, and we can try this again. We need to hold them someplace we can keep an eye on them. What do you think about Emmanuel? Yeah, that could work. There's a couple other contacts I can reach out to if it doesn't. Or you could just kill them and it's not an issue. I have heard enough out of you today. You know, she's not totally wrong. There is a safety option. As long as they're isolated, we'll be safe. Just needs to be in the middle of nowhere with no connection to the outside world. The universe has no shortage of them. What if we work for you? It's not an open club. What do you have to offer? We're a treasure hunting team, and you're basically looking for treasure, right? I know everything about the Tahani. Cat uh, is the best sharpshooter around, and Jay is... He's the leader. We did find this first. This organization is bigger than it looks. The things we do are extremely dangerous. We're professionals. How extremely? I have a job that might fit your skill set. We can give it a trial run and see where it goes. Your arm. 
These will do the same thing with the hands you found. They're not as powerful and can only carry one person each. But they'll get you where you need to go. They can only be unlocked by a signal from me. If you attempt to remove them, if you tell anyone about our organization, if you disobey my orders, I will detonate them. It's not an ideal situation, but I will do what needs to be done in order to protect our interests. It's important that you understand that. Welcome to Rampart. You guys ready for this? Not as much as you are, but I guess you got what you wanted. I can figure this out. Trust me. I just need some time. Besides, we now have magical gauntlets that can teleport us anywhere in the universe. I really hope we don't die. 